everyone. Happy Christmas Eve. This is Jared Rand. Welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for December 24th, 2020, Thursday. There are four simple steps for any of us, if we choose, to give and receive love more easily and effortlessly. And it's up to us, it's, you know, there's no, it's always up to you. It's never up to anybody else, it's always up to you. You make the commitment to remaining open. And this is the first step in giving and receiving love effectively is to make the commitment to being open to love. A lot of people are not open to love. Love is the most powerful energy in this universe. So to master it is to master your experience of the universe. So you let your heart simply be open as if it were as vast as the infinite universe that surrounds us. When you are met with difficult people and situations, and we all are at times, relax your body and open your heart completely. Eventually, with enough relaxation, a soft, gentle feeling of lightness and love will come pouring in. Remember one thing. You cannot get hurt in any relationship or situation if your heart truly remains permanently open. Drown your ego and loving thoughts. Drown your ego and loving thoughts. The more you love and accept yourself exactly as you are, the more you attract love from others and manifest loving, empowering, and abundant situations to you. <coughs> Excuse me. So drown your ego and loving thoughts. And the more you love and accept yourself exactly as you are, the more you attract love from others and manifest loving, empowering, and abundant situations to you. The vibration of love is hugely magnetic. When you let your ego drown in self-loving affirmations, beliefs, ideas, and fantasies, this energy will soon permeate every cell in your body. And eventually, these loving ideas will make you into a love magnet, allowing you to realize that you, <coughs> excuse me, that you are simply the source of love itself. Then, you let go of any limiting, limited ideas about love. Let go of any limited ideas about love. The belief that you can only love and be loved by one person is one of the greatest limiting thoughts this society has hypnotized us to believe about love. Trash this thought immediately and understand one simple thing. The more you practice sharing love with others, the more love you will have to give to yourself and that one special person. Love has this amazing snowball effect where it becomes bigger the more that it's used. Let go of that ridiculous feel, fear of hurting someone because you started loving everyone. Whoever gets hurt simply has a closed heart and has not yet connected to the infinite supply of love inside them. When any of us, each of us, become an example for how to be a living source of love, then you will see how alive, vibrant, and full of joy you are. And then one day, they will choose to follow you along the path of unlimited love. And then continuously choose love no matter what. As the ego is often tempted to play its old games of blaming and judging others for not giving it what it thinks it wants. Deep 
deeply understanding you can always choose love when your ego wants to go off into limiting thinking and contracted feeling states. Every time you notice yourself entering that contracted zone, just focus on opening up your heart and sending out the vibration of love. Think about one thing that you love, like your dog, the mountains, the sun, your child, etc. Feel how much you truly love this person or thing. This will get your love engine started again, and soon the energy of love will naturally overwhelm any contracted old ways of being. Right now, right in this moment, 
the universe will be sending you back the same signal. When you realize how lovable you truly are, then the universe has no choice but to send you love from everyone and everything around you. This is when life becomes a constant state of ever-present joy and bliss. Imagine that. You think that would motivate us a lot? This is when life becomes a constant state of ever-present joy and bliss. It truly is amazing that we are here right now listening to this. So many things could have taken your life from you, yet you are here, still exploring life. It is an amazing thing to be here on this planet at this time. Take this moment to welcome it. The universe wants you to take advantage of your life. It is the most precious gift you have. So take five minutes daily this week to look back at everything you've been through. See how the universe has always been supporting you. Wow. It truly is wondrous to see all the life experiences you have had and that you are here alive right now. Even making it through the birth canal was a tremendous feat of courage and love. Notice how for years the universe has been providing you with food, shelter, opportunities to contribute to this world. And yes, you can let go and trust that the universe will keep you safe, warm, cozy, and truly awake, aware, and alive. And yes, you can allow yourself to feel this support and love. The amazing infinite conscious universe is always supporting you, whether you know it or not. It loves you. Notice how good it feels to know that the universe loves you and believes your existence is an absolute spectacular supremacy of existence. It's time to recognize this and be the gift you wish to give to the world. powerful 
action. We have a lot of candles around this time of the year. So for seven to 10 minutes, try this. Sit and relax as you gently focus on a candle flame about six to 12 inches from your nose. Notice how the mind tends to wander. Relax into the flame. Become the light and the fire. Let your mind and energy move into it. And when you feel warmth begin to grow inside you, close your eyes and bring the flame into your heart and see it radiating light to everyone and everything in your life. Your mind will most likely get crazier the more you meditate. This is an illusion. You are simply becoming more aware of the chaos that is already present in it. If you cannot stand the amount of mind chatter, take a few minutes before you sit to relax your body. Start by imagining a warm, relaxing light going into your toes and moving all the way up your body. This is all about us finding out and discovering who and what we are. Relax, really relax. Breathe in the affirmation, I am safe and I am loved and all is well in my world. Breathe it in. I am safe, I am loved and all is well in my world. And these, let these words sink deep into your body. Stay alert, yet in the flow. Allow any calming energy to grow and spread throughout your body. The easiness of being absorbs each thought that arises in the mind. I am safe, I am loved, and all is well in my world. When we sit quietly and peacefully, this paves a direct path to the greatest awakening. It is this extremely simple and effortless task that attains such miraculous results. Sitting quietly and peacefully. And try practicing holding your focus on what you want and remain fixed on the idea of it for at least 60 seconds in a row. See if you can actually do this. The ability to maintain your focus on one, one thing is what makes you a shepherd instead of one of the sheep. The ability to maintain your focus on one thing is what makes you a shepherd instead of one of the sheep. The world offers itself for you to enjoy freely when you are able to control your mind. Master the mind. You can create anything you set and hold your mind steadfast upon. And remember to breathe and gently ask your mind to relax and be still. In this day and age, every person needs to experience some type of elimination. You are that person. Your greatest assignment is to let yourself be illuminated by your own presence, by your own presence. Let yourself be illuminated by your own presence. Buddha once said, be a light onto yourself. Let your light shine everywhere you go, as if a profoundly loved and honored person had just entered the room. Be lit up by your own vibration, and you'll light everyone's as well. With all of your heart every day, Celebrate this magnificent, divine, magnificent,
magical manifesting being that each and every single one of us already are. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted. And I am sure we all are. And the first thing we care to do is relax your body. See yourself as if you're looking out of your eyes in this existence where you're in a boat on a lake. The water is still. The sun is just peeking up, starting to show its light on the birch bark of the trees lining the shoreline of the lake. There's a mist. Sun hasn't burned it off. It's not a fog. You can see the shorelines. It just hangs above the water. Everything is still. The boat, the water, you. You're relaxed. You're warm. You don't have the thought at all. And you're in the now. And you're being still completely relaxed, no concern, no cares, no anxiety, no fear, no hurry, just floating there on that lake. You couldn't be more comfortable ever. And the body is completely head to toe inside now, relaxed, genuinely, no stress, thoughts, you have left the mind, and you are in complete silence. Look out of your own eyes in this status. Experience it. I guarantee you, your body will relax more than you've ever imagined. that body, you move into the now, and the now completely moves you out of the mind and the ego and the subconscious mind. You are outside of them in the now, the space between heartbeats. The now eliminates our chatter, the incessant chatter of thoughts. It only focuses us on the moment, whatever it may be. Scratching your nose, putting on your clothes, in the moment, the shower, whatever it may be. Only the now, only the moment. Now some of us will have a tendency to go into the past. And the past used to be the now, but it is no more. These are all the things that we've experienced that are no more. They're gone. And the others go into a future that doesn't exist and wander around constantly wondering what if and when. Only in the now do we create our future. Only in the now do we still our mind and ego and subconscious. Some of us, we reminisce, we hear songs and music and talk. We're in a situation or an area and it brings back memories or something. That's enjoyable. And then other times, some of us will just stay in the past so long that we'll take the past into a future that doesn't exist and we'll create that past out of that future and relive that past in that future. Not a bad thing. It's just, why would we want to do that? And then of course, others will just stay in a future that doesn't exist, wondering what if and when. Most of us skip the now. We wonder why we have so much chaos at times with ourselves. And by focusing 
focusing on the now, you begin to discover the true bliss and harmony and love and joy that you truly are. But how do you stay in the now? We all, none of us are exempt from it, wander. Our thoughts take us. You can say one minute, one second, you're in the now, next minute your thoughts take you somewhere else. So, to stay in the now, we use our breath. Our breath is divine positive energy. Why is it divine positive energy? It houses the kingdom of God, the pure consciousness within each and every one of us. It's very powerful. It focuses us, it relaxes us, it eases us. So when you concentrate, when you move yourself and focus on your breath only, only your breath, you will be in the now. And you practice it as many times as you need to during the course of the day. To eliminate yourself from allowing your thoughts and mind to drag you into all kinds of strange directions. You're in that boat on that lake. You're just easy breezy. Not a care or a thought in the world. You're in the now. You're focused on your breath. And through your heart, mind's motion picture, of which you are the creator, the designer, the director, the producer, the actors, the actresses, everything. And through, through your heart, mind's motion picture, you watch is you take your divine positive energy, your breath, and you merge it with the God force love light energy, which is our chi, key prana. And we move it effortlessly through this very center of our bodies, from our root all the way to our crown, top of our heads. And these are all colored wheels of light. They all contain flowers within them. All the flowers are different. In the center of each flower is a geometrical shape. All of the geometrical shapes are different. None are the same. These are chakras. These are conduits. These are etherical connections from our physical body to our spiritual, to the astral plane, to existence. It is a back and forth communication. And the more intimately we understand what these are for ourselves, the more we navigate precisely. So we start with the red with the light, the root chakra, the bullet horror. This is your career, money, mindset, sense of belonging. It represents your foundation and feeling of being in the flow, in the now. Is at the base of your spine and the tailbone area. Your emotional issues are survival issues such as financial independence, money, and food. Your physical association, spine, rectum, legs, arms, and circulatory system. Then we move to the orange wheel of light, the vadasthana, sexuality and pleasure. This is the sacral chakra. It is your connection and ability to accept others and new experiences. It's located in your lower abdomen about two inches in below the navel and two inches, two inches below the navel and two inches in. Your emotional issues are sense of abundance, well-being, pleasure, sexuality. Your physical association is reproductive organs, kidneys, bowels, immune system. And we go into the golden yellow wheel of light, the solar plexus chakra, the manapura, personal power, and 
ability to channel. It is your ability to be confident in the flow of your life, in the now. It's located in your upper abdomen and the stomach area. Emotional issues, self-work, self-confidence, self-esteem, your physical association, central nervous system, pancreas, liver, digestive tract, skin. And we move to the emerald green, wheel of light, the heart chakra, the anahata, love, relationships, and self-acceptance. It is your ability to love. It's located the center of the chest, just above the heart. Emotional issues, love, joy, inner peace, physical association, heart, thymus, lower lungs, circulatory system, immune system. And move to the blue wheel of light. The Vishuddha, the throat chakra, self-expression. It's your ability to communicate. It is in your throat. Your emotional issues are communication, self-expression of feelings, the truth. Physical association, thyroid, respiratory system, teeth, vocal cords. And then we move to the indigo will of light, the third eye chakra, the ajna, intuition, sense of purpose and direction in this life. It is your ability to focus on and see the big picture. See the trees through the forest, the forest through the trees or both. Some of us will, some of us won't. Its location is your forehead between the eyes, also called the brow chakra. Your emotional issues are intuition, imagination, wisdom, ability to think and make decisions. Physical association is pituitary gland, eyes, sinuses. And then move to the crown chakra, violet wheel of light, the sasra, connection to the divine. It is the highest chakra and it represents your ability to be fully connected spiritually. It's the very top of, a, of your head. Emotional issue, inner and outer beauty. Our connection to spirituality, pure bliss, the God, pure consciousness, physical association, pineal gland, brain, nervous system. Now we've watched through our harmonized motion picture as we effortlessly move these energies, our divine positive energy breath, and our God force love light energy. And they sit at the top of our heads. And we only hold them for a brief moment. I am light. I am love, I am. In that brief moment, we compress and condense them into pure, omnipotently powerful liquid energy. And we pour it over the pineal gland. Pineal gland is very important to all of us while we're in these physical forms. It is the gateway to all the particles of existence. The astral plane, the God, the pure consciousness, the love, everything and beyond so you see it you view the pineal gland through your heart mind's motion picture however you view it I view it as a green ball rosebud and when I release this liquid energy over it it immediately explodes into a fully blossomed massive rose with multicolored petals shimmering with a beautiful fragrance intoxicated and it is pure love pure deep eternal love gratitude ease peacefulness tenderness kindness gentleness sending these warm waves out and you're connected to everything because you are everything we are consciously aware that we are of and from the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love. And we are consciously aware that we are of and from the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. Our mind, our, our heart mind, our ego mind, our soul, our spirit, our higher self, 
or God or pure consciousness. The body. One. We are heaven. Literally, we are heaven on this earth. Literally, every step we take, we create paradise. And we are beginning to understand the very core existence of our being the love that we are. You're beginning to flood it outward, shining it on everyone and everything and all life, the highest supreme value in the universe. See that through your heart, mind's motion picture. Be that in your heart, mind's motion picture. Because in reality, you are that. We have others. We have the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphs, and the archetypes. We also have the ascended masters, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, St. Germain, Sananda, Jesus, El Moria, Bandanji, and Pell, Oth, Yellow, Yeshua, many, many, many more. And the archangels, their civilization, it vibrates at a different frequency than we do. So why we don't see them like we see each other. But we do meet with them. Randomly. All of a sudden, they're there talking with you. you really, at first, don't, you know, you just think it's just somebody you're talking with. But then there's an energy, a frequency, and you sense this, with the God within you. And then as you're done with the conversation, you're walking, you're doing it just kind of comes on to you, and they say, that, that was not just a regular interaction. That had to have been an angel. And because you identified it, it was an angel. They're teaching us, we're teaching them. Because we're all parts of each other. Thousands can surround any one of us at any one time because they can hold a small space in a large number because of their vibrational frequency. Say the masters are those who have mastered ascension into physical form and out of physical form. And they are pure consciousness, hold God form. We have ascended into physical form, master physical form. So we create experiences while we're in physical form so that we can experience and we can perfect our creation. We can also find out who and what we are in physical form and discover it. So we will not leave the body and wander after leaving the body and be seduced into a tunnel of light. We are all part of each other. We're one. And separation has always been the illusion for this civilization and all of us and all the gods within us. So we call out the other facets and reflections of us. So we call out to all light energy beings and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. Only those who are consciously aware that they are of and from the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. Can be with us in this now, in this meditation, in forming this circle of light and total liberation of this planet Earth, Gaia Aria, in this now, into higher and higher frequencies of deep eternal love and gratitude. In this now. Now they come in the Google Plexus. One Googleplex fills this universe. They come in trillions of Googleplexes from every direction. And they are with us now. We call upon all of the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, beneath the earth, of Gertrude. Many civilizations, many species. But only those who are consciously aware that they are of and from the highest of deepest, 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 eternal of and of and from the highest of deepest, 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 eternal gratitude can be with us in this now, in this meditation in form of the circle of light. 
and they come in the billions. And they are with us now. We call upon all the off-worlders, all the galactics, all the celestials, but only those who are consciously aware that they are of and from the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love, and of and from the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude, can be with us in this now, in this meditation to form the circle of light. And the liberation, the full liberation of this planet Earth, Gaia Aria, in this now. Now, we are only familiar with just a bare fraction of them. Over a thousand travel through the solar system every day. Trillions travel throughout the universes every day. The ones that we're somewhat, somewhat familiar with includes all their levels of species. The good, the not so good, and the bad. Only those with the highest vibrational frequency of deep eternal love and gratitude could be in this meditation with us. We have the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, the Andromedans, the Reticuli, the Feline, Nords, Greys, Draco, Reptilian, Golden Pyramid, Avion, many, many, many more. Now they've been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, in our ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. And they, in the billions, are with us now. We call upon all of our loved ones, all those who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Only those who are consciously aware that they are of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love, and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude, can be with us in this now, in this meditation, and form the circle of light. And they come into billions, and they're with us now. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the flowing forms on and above and below this planet Earth, Gaia, and this now. Now, we're really familiar with a handful of them, somewhat familiar. But they do come in the trillions, shapes, colors, sizes, forms, configurations, of which we've never seen before. And only those who are consciously aware that they are of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love and of and from the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude can be with us in this now in this meditation form of the circle of light. And the fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the trolls, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, ether, The mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, and many, many, many more. And all of them are with us now. We are all one, all together, arm in arm, hand in hand, all of our gods. We're in full compassion. Non ego, non negativity non-judgment, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, abundance, prosperity, and we are all one. We are all love, and we are all God. And our God force love light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And we continue to intensify, and we continue to expand. We 
form a massive circle of light. Where is this light coming from? It is from our heart center. It is from the pure consciousness, the God that we are within. It is a reflection that we are shining outward. So this circle of light at the equator of this planet Earth, Gaia, Arya, and this now, this meditation, full liberation of this planet and higher frequencies of deep eternal love and gratitude, flooding all of us eternally, head to toe, inside now, all life, the highest supreme value in the universe is right now, eternally. Pure, deep, eternal love. So we begin to levitate above this planet. There's this circle of light. And as we do that, we're met with this massive gossamer field. It's, it's an ocean of glitter. It's everywhere. And you see all these little tiny mirrors reflecting all of us gathered for this meditation. On the rough world. For, from everywhere. Every existence. All of the highest vibrational frequency. All of us as one, reflecting each other. All of us teachers, teaching one another. All of us in the deepest of gratitude to be here, now. We immediately are met with the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. This is a column that reminds all of us that we are the power of healing. We are then met with the violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael. This is a column that reminds us all of our omnipotent power, strength, and resolve. We're then met with the white fire. This is a column that reminds us all that from head to toe, inside now, we are imbued 24-7 with a God force love light energy that is absolutely impenetrable from any external source, authority, force, anything externally. Nothing can breach it, nothing can harm it, affect it in any way, shape, or form. We are protected always. But only you, only you, only you have the power that if you lower your vibrational frequencies low enough, whether consciously or unconsciously, anger, fear, hatred, revenge, envy, greed, dishonesty, you will create a breach in your white fire armor. This breach will be enough to allow all the lower dark matter, lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies to come flooding up. Now, if you do decide to do this, you're immediately met with the purple transmitting flame. This is a column that reminds us all that if we do do this, we bring in the purple transmitting flame, we transmute all of these lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies into neutral light substance and we send them back to pure consciousness for repurposing. They're gone. Then we're met with a violet ray. This is a column that reminds us all that we can bring in the violet ray and we can cleanse and purify the area where these lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies work, sealing the breach in our white fire armor, restoring our vibrational frequency on the highest of the highest high, of deep eternal love and gratitude. We're then met with a golden white pink light. This is a column that reminds us all that we are the sun. We are the sunlight. We are the rain. We are the rainbows. We are the trees. We are the forest. We are the sunsets and the sunrises. We are all the animals. The sky, the clouds, the snow. We are 
everything. So when you see a sunset or a sunrise, and you really know that within you, it is you. The sunset and sunrises, it's all a reflection of you. We continue to levitate above the planet. Some of us step outside our physical forms, float effortlessly above those of us carrying physical forms. And we come across this massive crystal-like tower, which we created, and it's larger than the solar system. So we just kind of ease back and we see, we gaze upon the center of the column. We see this oblong sphere, massive. In the center is a golden white sparkling light. And we notice that it's sending out these like a warm, golden, glittery mist that penetrates us eternally. And this mist is deep eternal love. And all the colored rings around the center are all different colors doing the same thing, sending out, emanating out, warm mist, sparkling, green, gold, blue, red, all kinds of colors. And this is gratitude, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, abundance, prosperity, well-being, you know, great wealth. All of this a reflection of who and what we are. A reminder. At the top is the golden ocean. We designed this column so the golden ocean can come flooding down. And the golden ocean is deep, pure, eternal love. And it's literally flooding all of us. 24-7, head to toe, inside and out. See it in your heart, mind's motion picture. You can see it. You are it. It's just pure, deep, eternal love, rising and elevating the vibrational frequencies of everything and everything. More and more of the deep, eternal love and gratitude. Now, we're drops of this golden ocean. We hold the essence of the ocean. The ocean is the drops, and the drops are the ocean. We're all one. Separation is the illusion. And we see our meditative sphere at set center circle. We created this sphere almost three years ago. It holds over 1,100 of our meditations in perfect harmony and vibrational frequency from all of us gathered from everywhere here, sending out massive waves of pure, beautiful, deep, eternal love and gratitude and joy and bliss and harmony and this is why it can be seen, heard and felt and all that there is, ever has been ever will be, ever beyond and forever and this is why it continues to intensify and it continues to expand you see it no, you see it you feel it Do you feel it? And in this day and age, every one of us needs to experience some type of illumination. Each of us are that person. Our greatest assignment is to let ourselves be illuminated by our own presence. And as Buddha once said, be a light unto yourself. Let your light shine everywhere you go. As if a profoundly loved and honored person had just entered the room. Be lit up by your own vibration 
and you'll light everyone's as well. With all your heart, every single day, celebrate this magnificent, divine, magical, manifesting being that you truly are. I'm joining the meditation. Let me turn the gloves this out.
understand me, every person needs to experience some type of illumination. You are that person. Each and every one of us are that person. Your greatest assignment is to let yourself be illuminated by your own company. Be a light onto yourself. Let your light shine everywhere you go. As if a profoundly loved and honored person had just entered the day. Be lit up by your own vibration. And you'll light everyone's as well. With all your heart, every single day, celebrate this magnificent, divine, magical, manifesting being that each and every single one of us already are. Take this with you for the rest of the day and to the evening and night and fall morning. And we will be back here Christmas day afternoon, December 25th, 2020, 3 p.m. Eastern to continue our global guided meditation.